Okay, welcome back, YouTubers. Just wanted to give you an update on the trailer project. Went ahead and took care of the rear ramp door, insulated that, replaced the surfaces on the inside. That's the original wood, and that's the finished product. The outside J channel strip on the bottom was removed. Uh, I could see light through that when I did the water check. I had water coming in, so I upgraded that to uh, an aluminum uh, flat stock with screws, sealed it up on both sides of the blue panel so the door is watertight. It's a one and a quarter inch thick aluminum square tube construction, so I had to use a one inch and a quarter inch uh, pink insulation to fill that void so that was real nice and tight watertight airtight and I taped that all up with the uh, aluminum foil tape that's in the weatherproofing department and that's what that looks like I did replace the uh, plywood that came on that with a little heavier material and I made a longer little flip ramp at the bottom because I will be driving a motorcycle on. I uh, used about three times more screws than what came on it and I used a stainless steel uh, number 12 screw. Uh, I did mark and measure and pre-drill countersink all the screw holes and I do that on everything basically. That's what it looks like with the new plywood on it. The door's a little heavier, so I actually had to adjust that garage door spring. And all the wood was primed with a mildew resistant primer. And that's what it looks like before I finished it. The finished I carpeted uh, on the inside, it's an interior wall for the most part. I don't drive four-wheelers or muddy things on it. So in this case, the carpet's a pretty good value. Very inexpensive, easy to apply and replace. I did wrap the whole edge of all the wood with three-quarter inch, eighth inch thick aluminum angle stock. Everything was pre-drilled. Before the carpet was put on, I fit all the uh, aluminum on there. Then I installed the aluminum after the carpet was on with uh, the use of an ice pick. Here's the rear flip gate. I painted the inside blue. I've got four different blue interior colors, maybe three or four. Anyway, that aluminum strip on the edge is the part that contacts the ground. If you can cut a 45 degree angle, pretty decent. Uh, that's pretty easy to wrap these boards with aluminum. And that's what it looks like before I put the carpet on the flip ramp. And that uh, shows the use of clamps to kind of crush that tight onto the board. And then you just use an ice pick, like I said, to line up the pre-existing screw holes. And as you tighten it down, everything pulls real tight. The 45s look good. I don't overly staple all that carpet on there, nor do I glue it. It's just It stays in place real well. And that's what that looks like with uh, everything carpeted and wrapped. And that's the ramp door. And again, it's an interior wall, so I wanted it to be comfortable, look good. And that's the finished interior. And that ramp will have some artwork or pictures on it. I'm not sure, but I'll put something on there to match the rest of it. It came with a rubber, uh, the small one on the left. I put two heavy-duty ones I got on Amazon. That keeps the angle real nice when you drop the gate. So uh, just one little upgrade there to the outside. And there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll keep you posted on future updates.